Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about the why PSP outlet is bigger than the inlet, right? So if you have ever seen the PSV at the plant or if you have ever prepared the PSV process data sheet then you would see the sizes we mentioned is like that 8, T, 10, 1, D, 2, 6, R, 8. So what is the meaning of it? It means 8 is the inlet size, inlet flange size, 10 is the outlet size let's suppose 10 8 okay and this t defines the your size or fish size or if is size as per api right now why the psv outlet size is bigger than the inlet right it means that when i am saying this outlet flange is bigger it means that the outlet line will be also bigger okay when you will do the lateral sizing in like inlet lateral and outlet lateral then you will find out that outlet lateral size will be higher than the inlet lateral size okay but why is it so that's we are going to discuss in this video so first of all let's see that why we use the psb psb is a pressure safety wall it means that if in in your system pressure increases okay or if let's suppose due to some reason in the system becomes the system becomes over pressurized then this psv is the last protection okay so what it will do it will mitigate that uh, pressure and it will depressurize the system okay when the pressure will become below the safe limit you can say then this psv will close okay when the psv will like for example let's suppose if it sets let's suppose if the set pressure of this psv is 6 kg per centimeter square gauge now when the when within this tank if the 6 kg per centimeter square will achieve then this psv will pop up okay your fluid your fluid will relieve from like that and when the pressure will decrease from 6 kg then then this psv will close down okay i have already prepared the videos about the how the psv works you can watch that videos as well now my question is what we are going to discuss in this video if you will see the inlet size of this psv is 12 inch and the outlet size of this psv is 14 inch okay and let's suppose if this psv is 8 t 10 or 6 r 8 it means that the outlet nozzle is higher and inlet nozzle is lower right but why is it so that we are going to discuss so the first reason behind it expansion of fluid simply what will happen when your system will become over pressurized then what will happen in case of gas or vapor relief the fluid expands right and when the fluid will expand what will happen the density will decrease okay i will show you that as well as per continuity equation now in case of fluid expansion what happens that your fluid moves from higher pressure inlet to the lower pressure outlet okay and due to which a larger outlet size accommodates this expansion and prevents excessive back pressure if this excessive back pressure will be there so it could be happen that your psv will not open or it will not work properly right that's why the outlet size is recommended at the outlet of psv or the higher size is recommended as with respect to the inlet size now if you see the continuity equation what the continuity equation say to us this is mass flow rate is equal to your rho density into area into velocity right as i said when the fluid will expand this density will be reduced right now in the case of the psv if you see if the system becomes over pressurized then obviously the fluid will relieve from here to here okay and mass will conserve means the mass at inlet will be equal to the mass at outlet mass flow rate right now it is decreasing 
okay and the velocity increases so in this case to accommodate this phenomena your area should be increased i hope uh, i like i am able to tell you what i want to say okay if you have any doubt now please let me in the comments box i will definitely clear your doubt so simply when the density at the outlet is lower due to expansion so what happens that to maintain the same mass flow rate the product here area and velocity must compensate for this lower density at the outlet okay i hope you got the point what i want to say since the your outlet velocity increases but it is not enough to compensate this phenomena so due to this what we do we increase the outlet area okay that's why the outlet size will be higher and the second most important point is prevent choking okay so when let's suppose at the outlet if the choking happens then what will happen when your psv will be pop up it will not go to the destination and it will come back right so a smaller outlet can cause choking that's why you will see we calculate the mach number okay in the case of the gases or vapor now can you let me in the comments box if the fluid is liquid then do we require this mach number or not so if the out if the outlet size is smaller then it can choke your fluid and limit flow and increase pressure build up okay and if you properly size the outlet so it will definitely ensure and unrestricted the discharge and your discharge will go smoothly in the case of the vapor or gases you will see that the mac numbers should be less than the 0.7 right what is the mac number nothing but your velocity at the outlet divided by the sound of the, uh, the speed of sound right if it will be less than 0.7 then it is okay right but if it is greater than this then it could create the problem of choking in case of the liquid also we can definitely determine the mach number but it is not that much significant in the case of the liquid but in case of vapor and gases it is significant right minimizing back pressure what is the meaning of this it means that if the excessive back pressure will build up at the outlet side out at the outlet of the psv then what will happen that it can reduce the walls capacity to operate okay and it could be happen that let's suppose if the if you have sized improperly then this excessive back pressure can play a very significant role in the opening of the psv and if the your system over pressurized then this psv will not pop up okay then it will affect the psv's ability to relieve pressure effectively okay and that's why the larger outlet help to maintain proper discharge condition in some video or in the upcoming videos i will show you as well how this back pressure helps how the minimizing back pressure help how if the back pressure will be higher than what will happen i will show you thoroughly in the calculation as well and one more point that is pressure drop reduction what is the meaning of this it means that when the psv opens okay or pop up a high velocity fluid released now a larger outlet helps reduce pressure drop and back pressure i have already told you about the back pressure okay now if the back let's suppose if the delta p is higher or too much okay then the fluid will not go to the destination right and if you will select the larger outlet then it will definitely help to reduce the pressure drop you can simply check it out via formula or back pressure which ensure efficient discharge without affecting the walls performance okay also we must ensure that when we select the psv okay when we do the lateral sizing for the inlet and outlet we must check it out the vendor data because if the you are selecting the vendor for this psv then what the vendor is selecting the flow rate you must consider that flow rate to do the calculation when you will do the calculation you will find out that what are the results are being right 
because if you are let's suppose if you are taking the flow rate which you have calculated okay and the vendor's flow rate is different then in that scenario also your calculation could be somehow affect okay now in the last compliance with standard what standards we use while sizing the psv so you can use the api 520 you can also use the asme section 8 what is the full form of the asme please let me in the comments box which recommended proper sizing of psv outlet to handle the discharged fluid safely and prevent pressure buildup in the discharge piping right so these are the some standard which tells about the proper sizing of the psv outlet now if there is the low pressure psv okay in that case which standard you will follow please let me in the comments box or the same standard we can follow please let me in the comments box so i hope you find something interesting from this video if you have any doubt in this video please let me in the comments box we will definitely discuss in the comments box thoroughly so that's all for the today's video thanks for watching till then keep learning thank you